The Tesla Model S and the Porsche Taycan are an artwork of sophisticated engineering. Both are beautiful beasts that fetch for a hefty price, so if you are going to pay such an amount, you should make sure that the choice you are making is right. Hey guys, welcome back to EV Zone. Today we have the titans of the luxury EV class go head to head to determine which is the best. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video, it helps us a long way. Porsche's struggle with all electric vehicles is not an attempt to overthrow Tesla as the industry leader. This is because the Volkswagen Group subsidiary claims the American EV manufacturer wants to be a volume producer, which is not what the premium German brand intends. The Tesla Model S and Porsche Taycan are said to compete with one another more than other full-size luxury sedans because they are the only two electric cars in this segment with historical data. The Mercedes-Benz EQS and Lucid Air just launched this past fall and therefore have little data with which to analyze their performances. There appears to be significant market interaction between these two full-size luxury electric vehicles based on an analysis of their migration patterns, inventory levels and registration rates. This electric motor is sourced from none other than a Tesla car, probably a salvaged one. Tesla is undoubted a challenge for Porsche in the 21st century because the US electric automaker has put all orthodox car makers feel a bit of insecurity when it comes to race track performance. Porsche made the Taycan EV sports car to rival Tesla in the new age, but the car failed miserably in EPA range tests. Comparison between Tesla S and Porsche Taycan The Taycan is Porsche's first entry into the growing electric automobile segment and has modestly garnered attention from forthcoming buyers. Porsche is already a renowned name in the sports car market, and Tesla is known for their high-speed, high-performance electric cars. Through this video, we will compare the Porsche Taycan Turbo S with the Tesla Model S on various fronts such as performance, features, etc. Speed and Acceleration Both Tesla S and Porsche Taycan are two of the speediest and swiftness on the road. When it comes to acceleration, they are both faster than the fastest race cars and supercars. This power and speed are due to those high-powered electric motors. Both offer amazing 0 to 60 mph times. The Taycan Turbo S will take you in 2.6 seconds, though Motor Trend and others have clocked it at 2.4 seconds. The Tesla comes in at 2.3, so just a tiny difference. Range and Charging The average for charging electric cars is thought to be 200 miles between charges. This gives you many miles for getting to and from work, running errands, and time-out driving. Other unauthentic resources claim and the auto blogs have reported the Taycan will go anywhere up to 300 miles between charges. Tesla Model S Long Range Plus Mode, on the other hand, has a range of up to 391 miles. Here in this category, Tesla may take the lead for range, both cars are getting easier and more convenient to charge. Porsche, for example, has installed high-speed chargers at all of its dealerships and has partnered with Electrify America to provide over 1,700 chargers at 350 stations all across the United States. Design and Appearance The Taycan is a breath of fresh air in terms of design, taking some cues from another Porsche, the Panamera. The Taycan has the strongest brakes, including calipers and rotors, and is more forceful than the Tesla. The 4S's exterior has been around for a while and is beginning to appear a little stuffy in comparison. According to Green Car, the Taycan is the undisputed winner on the inside. The Turbo S has room for four adults, perfectly ergonomic leather seats, an exquisite tinted glass roof, and superior design all around. You'll appreciate having more than 41 inches of digital displays and controls spread out throughout your first-rate cabin from a technological standpoint. This is not the case with the Tesla, so here Porsche seems to win. Seating Interior the Model S is built with best-in-class storage, a high-class 17-inch infotainment screen and seating for up to five grown-ups. The front seats are fairly comfortable and very relaxing. There is plenty of headroom for both the driver and the passengers. It has about 58 cubic feet of cargo space, with the rear seats folded down. The Taycan Turbo S has a very limited boot space, and the storage space in the cabin is not ample enough. It provides limited space for short trips. Price the Taycan 4S begins at $103,800 plus delivery charges. Options such as Porsche's InnoDrive Active Safety Suite will cost an added $3,600 and the performance package raises the price by $6,400, so your total is going to be nearer to $113,800 with those choices. The base Tesla Model S Long Range starts at $79,990 plus delivery, but there are far fewer options to add to a Tesla compared to the Porsche. According to Green Car's calculation, 
premium paint, interior, and wheels will add $8,500, while the addition of Tesla's self-driving tech is another $8,000. That brings the sum to about $96,490. However, the Porsche Taycan is the more premium-looking and handling car by far, and you can expect to pay a little extra for that superior design. If price were no object, we'd all be driving the new Taycan, Green Car concludes. Powertrain and Performance The Porsche and the Tesla are skateboard-style chassis, with the battery packs filling the space between the axles. Both cars have electric motors on each axle, making them all-wheel drive, although a rear-wheel drive, single-motor formatting powers the new entry-level Taycan. The Taycan uses a 93.4-kilowatt-hour battery and an 800-volt system and produces 617 bhp as standard in both Turbo and Turbo S models. Enable launch control and the output increases to 671 and 750 bhp respectively. Turbo models are capable of 0 to 62 mph in 3.2 seconds and Turbo S versions drop the time to 2.8 seconds. Both are electronically confined to a 161 mph top speed. Porsche did 26 straight launches during testing, showing that the car can continually perform. The Taycan also set a new Nürburgring lap record for a fully electric four-door saloon, completing the circuit in 742. Even the base model hits 0 to 62 mph in 5.4 seconds, which is still very quick. Is Tesla the leader in the electric car industry? Tesla is the uncontested leader in the electric car industry, with other recognized names beginning to close the gap. At a time when more brands were trying to beat the rest, Tesla distinguished itself from the competition by targeting the high-stake EV market with an electric sports car, the Roadster. Due to the Roadster, Tesla disrupted the EV market and developed a flourishing business model to bring high-performance electric cars to the mainstream market. Elon Musk, the far-sighted leader and the CEO of Tesla Motors, once said that the company was on the verge of a collapse, but now Tesla is one of the most trusted companies with a market cap of $1 trillion, a huge landmark for a company that was on the brink of bankruptcy. Both the Porsche Taycan and Tesla Model S have their flaws. The Taycan has limited interior space, and its price balloons with every option box ticked. The base model is surely nice, but it's not as fleet of foot nor does it have the range of the long-range trim Model S, two crucial factors when it comes to premium EVs. If the Tesla Model S is to compete with the Taycans of the world in terms of performance, needs a suspension upgrade and really needs more efficient brakes. With such power comes the responsibility to be able to stop within a reasonable distance, and both these future cars can rule the markets. Musk is highly confident about Tesla Model S. Tesla Motors Chairman, Product Architect and CEO Elon Musk and his executive team expressed confidence in the potential for the upcoming Model S, Model X, and the company. The market demand for Tesla S is increasing. Musk said, it seems likely that we'll be able to produce one and a half million cars this year. He cautioned that customers ordering now are facing a long wait list and some of their orders won't arrive until next year. The success of Model S is a critical step towards the widespread adoption of sustainable transport, and we are grateful to the World Car of the Year jury for the recognition, said Elon Musk, Tesla Motors co-founder and CEO. Winning the 2013 World Green Car Award is the great acknowledgement of what Tesla has accomplished with Model S in the last four years. Which electric sedan is better? Although both the Tesla Model S and the Porsche Taycan are excellent automobiles, their target markets are slightly different. Despite lacking in straight-line performance, the Taycan is for buyers who want the prestige of owning a Porsche and the sporty appearance that goes along with it. The Taycan also appeals to those who desire a futuristic appearance and feel thanks to its cutting-edge design, numerous screens, and inclusion of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard features. The Tesla Model S is ideal for families who still desire outstanding straight-line performance. It has a spacious cabin and a sizable cargo area for transporting luggage and other items. Please leave a comment down below your own thoughts and don't forget to like today's video. Subscribe to the channel as an offering to the gods of the algorithm. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.